Evening guys, Russ from Willie's Firewood here. It is Thursday night, November 9th, 2023. Uh, this is a very special day for the two people that are here. For those of you that don't know, and that's none of you know, this is my wife, Amber. Hi. Um, my wife and I have been working very hard for the last 12 plus years to put something into play. Uh, we had tried a couple of different times, a couple of different options. Nothing ever seemed to work out, but this purple folder right here holds the future of Willie's Firewood and what is going to be Grumble Farms as well. We have closed on 39.6 acres of land that is located directly across from our property. That's going to give us the ability to expand the wood yard. We are going to be putting in greenhouses for retail flowers and vegetables. We will be installing a material yard. I would like to at some point get a kiln down there. It probably will not be a manufactured kiln. It'll be something that we'll build and kind of figure out as we go. It'll be close enough. Um, just something so that we can dry our wood a little quicker. Um, but <clears throat> we had the... Uh, Land come up for sale a while ago, and it was too expensive. Um, the neighbors that had the property had listed it, and it was just kind of out of our price range. And we had started looking at possibly moving somewhere else, doing something different, maybe raising a few extra pugs to climb a little higher. Yeah. <laughs> but it didn't work out. Um, and then... The sign went up as sale pending, and we said, well, we're going to have new neighbors. Uh, people came and walked the property a bunch of times. They checked it all out. They wanted to put in an outdoor event center. Um, and when we see the property a little later on, I'll kind of walk everybody down through it. Uh, maybe we'll see if we can get a drone so I can show you what it is that hindered them from being able to do what they want to do and what we're going to do with it. Uh, the property is probably about half wetlands. Um, has a large beaver pond, um, as well as some wooded and forested area. We have some protected bird species that we have to deal with. There are red-winged blackbirds down there. Um, so that limits the amount of the land that we can use as well. But all in all, we've probably got 25 acres worth of property that we can develop and do what we'd like with it. Uh, if everything works out in the long run, there'll probably be a nice new house up on the back hill for miss amber over here because she would like a big house with a wraparound farmer's porch and i think we could probably do that yeah so <clears throat> with this property we've been operating on just under an acre of land for the last six years um it's been very tight we've only been able to keep three to four loads of wood at most time and my wife has gotten tired of having the forest beside the house and would like a lawn uh, and possibly a yard back. I want more peonies. She wants more flowers. So I guess with the greenhouses, we can probably do that yeah. too. Um, but my wife has also started a business and taken over half of the garage for that business and needs some parking. So if we get the wood out of the yard, that may give her some extra parking for that as well. Um, yep. She's a nurse practitioner. Um, and she and her business partner are starting up a medicated weight loss clinic here in the greater Bangor area. Um, and they're also doing IV therapy and some other cool stuff. Maybe we'll take a tour of her business at some point and she can explain what it is that they do. Yeah, we have some really, really cool things uh, coming in the future to um, Old Town, Orono, VZ, Bangor area very excited um oh, just a small little tidbit about me and and you know how much ross has supported me in my business is i've lost a total of 150 pounds over the last uh year and a half two years um i've done that with uh, a variety of different ways but um the most the easiest and most successful I've been, has been with the assistance of some of the medication assisted, like, um, Ozempic, Wegovy, those types of medications. And they're really, it's been a game changer. And I, I really wanted to, to, um, expand on this and grow, you know, do something that was for myself. Um, and I 
brought in a partner that I've known for 10 plus years. Her name's Erin and she's a wonderful nurse practitioner as well. And just really excited to offer something in this area that we currently don't have. Um, I've done essentially no advertising and gone from, you know, one patient to just shy of 50 in the course of four months. So um, it's all been word of mouth and I'm very, very excited for the future. I'm very, uh, I'm a big believer in the timing of our lives and I know that this has been a, a journey. Like Russ said, this has been about 10 plus years of us um, hearing no and hearing, oh my gosh, look at the dog. Um, hearing no or hitting brick walls or, you know, some reason, some excuse, some barrier, something going on. And the timing of this has just been absolutely perfect. And I'm so blessed um, and thankful for all the opportunities that have been given to us and everything that we've been able to overcome has brought us to this point and very excited to be able to develop um, and share that journey with everybody that's watching so as we go we're gonna have to change the use of the land right now the land is in tree growth uh, so the first step is for amber and i to head to the town office and to take roughly 12 acres of that land right now out of tree growth so that we can develop it um, that'll probably give myself and Gramp a chance to uh, go play with the skitter next door get some wood moved. We'll probably have to get a bulldozer and some excavators in there. Um, some dump trucks. If everything works right, maybe those machines will be ours before we're done. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, but nonetheless, we need to do the groundwork and lay the foundations for these greenhouses and for the material yard. Um, we need to set up the wood yard. We want to be as efficient as possible with the firewood. If we have room, we want to set it up so that everything flows. We're not touching the wood any more than we have to. Uh, if any of you folks out there have a system that you think works well or that could help us, please comment, let us know. Um, we're open to suggestions. There are a lot of you guys that have been doing this a lot longer than we have and we like advice. Good, bad, or indifferent, we like advice. <laughs> <clears throat> but we just wanted to take a minute get on let you guys know that willie's firewood is going to be expanding do you want to tell them what grumble means why don't you tell them what grumble means so uh fun fact a group of pugs is called a grumble so we have currently we just recently put our oldest pug down his name was goss and he we were very blessed to have him for 12 years so we no longer officially have a grumble yet but my hope is that we will again in the future. Um, and Grumble, you know, I love Grumbles because I love pugs. I grew up with pugs. We will probably, I always plan on having a pug. But also Grumble because some old men here like to grumble, um, you know, probably about said pugs. But uh, that, so I figure there's a, you know, it's a word with multiple connotations, meaning. So I thought that would be a really fun name for our farm. Yeah, I figured grumble worked for me too because I, I tend to grumble sometimes. He does. It happens. But we'll uh, we'll catch up with you guys a little later on this weekend. We'll maybe have some more firewood videos and stuff for you to look at there. Uh, and then next week, hopefully, we can show you what phase one of the project is going to be. And that's going to be starting to clear some of the area for the uh, wood yard and getting that stuff ready. So we'll kind of walk you guys through step by step as we go. And you guys can help keep us accountable. If you think that we're slacking off too much or we're not doing something quite right, feel free to gripe at us in the comments and I'll grumble back at you and see what happens. But uh, hope you guys have a good night. Can't wait to show you what we got coming in the future and let you all see how everything kind of unfolds. All right. Good night.